hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you in MVC how to send an email with the image in a body using C sharp and here we got the final output of that code to subject and body and notice in this body the text area I have added the text box for columns and rows are very less so we can adjust the text area Let's add the two address charan3k at gmail.com I'm sending the same email ID the from address only in these two address you can add any valid email ID in the subject hello and this is test mail in the body sending mail with image in body channel now before sending this email to this address let's open my gmail account I just logged into my email ID I want to send email to this gmail ID let's send an email I'm clicking send button See here we got a message mail has been sent successfully charanthik at gmail.com this email ID notice here we got a new mail hello this is test mail let's open this mail see we got an image in the body if you are a first time visitor to my channel please subscribe to get the latest updates for this video tutorial I am creating a new MVC application go to file new project I am choosing ASP.NET web application and the .NET framework is 4.6.1 the application name is email image in body click ok and from the templates I am choosing MVC4 click ok And here the project is successfully created let me close this window first in this project I'm creating a class in this models folder open solution explorer right click the models add class and the class name is email add And here we got the class. Now in this email class, I'm creating a public properties public string to get set public string body get set public string subject get set. After adding the properties, let's create a controller. Open Solution Explorer. In the controllers folder, right click the controllers, add controller. I'm selecting MVC5 controller empty, add the controller name I'm giving email controller, add. First, in this controller, I'm adding the model namespace using my application name is email image in body dot models I'm creating a new action result index the method is the post HTTP post just copy this one and paste here now in this action result index method I'm adding my this email class name copy this one and paste here email object mail message mm is equals to new mail message mm dot from is equals to new mail address which takes the parameter so from address I want to send emails from this address charan3k at gmail.com 
next step is mm.2 dot two dot add now in this add method I'm adding that two email address email object dot two mm dot subject is equals to email object dot subject property after that I'm adding a code to implement image into a body for that I'm using alternative view class aw is equals to alternative view dot create alternative view from string method which takes a content as a string so email object dot body plus break image source is equals to now in this image source usually we'll add the image URL path but we are including the image control in the body CID which is a content ID column image path height is equals to 100 and width is equals to 100 let's close this image tag comma the second parameter takes the content type which is a null and the third parameter which is the last one is a media type which is very important media type is text HTML And now linker resource class LR is equals to new linker resource. I have created an object now in this linker resource. I am adding the file name, so which is the image path file name between double quotes. This is the image I want to send an email. After adding the image path in the linker resource, now lr.contentid is equals to the content ID is the image path. Let's copy this one and paste here. Let's add the linker resource to this alternative view. aw dot linker resources dot add method which is LR linker resource object now let's add the alternative object to the mm body mm dot alternative views dot add method aw mm dot body is equals to in the body I'm adding LR dot content ID Let's create the SMTP object, SMTP client, SMTP is equals to new SMTP client, SMTP.host. For Gmail, the SMTP host is SMTP.gmail.com. SMTP. We require the port number also, which is 587 for the Gmail. SMTP.enable SSL is equals to true. Now, now the next step, we need to add the network credentials. Network credential NC is equals to new network credential, which takes the parameters of the Gmail username and password. Charantrike at gmail.com, comma, and password. In the password I'm not using my real password just for the security reasons but at the time of sending this email I will change into the real password SMTP dot credentials is equals to NC object 
and the last one smtp.send method I'm sending the email through this mail message object our mail message object is mm after sending the email successfully I want to display the message the mail has been sent successfully to the particular email ID so view back dot message is equals to mail has been sent sent successfully plus email object dot two that's it we have done the coding part in the controller now we require the view page before creating the view page we must build the application build build solution and here the project is successfully built let's close this output message window right click the index add view the view name is index only and the template I'm choosing empty the model class is the email class this class name I'm adding click add here we got the index view page also I'm adding center tag I'm changing the header tags index to send email with image in body h3 using mvc horizontal line at using html dot begin form the first parameter in this begin form method I am adding my action result page which is the index comma the second parameter takes a controller name which is our controller name is the email form method dot post comma and the last parameter is the object of the HTML attributes new enctyp is equals to multi part slash form data let's create a table table tr td the label is 2 td at html dot text box for m column m dot dot 2 tr td subject td at html dot text box for m m dot subject tr td body td at html dot now here I'm adding instead of text box for I'm adding text area for text area for m m dot body comma new I'm adding rows and columns to this text box area file. Rows is equals to four, comma columns is equals to ten. That's it. We have added the properties. 
two subject and body now tr td now in this td i'm adding a simple html button control input type is equals to submit value of the button control is send and the last one after the table I'm adding one horizontal line here I'm adding the view bag message after sending email successfully I want to display this view bag message copy this one I'm putting this in h1 header tags at viewback.message that's it we have done the complete coding part but before run this application we need to change our controller name in the road config expand the app underscore start road config.cs open that one and notice the controller name is a home which is a default one I'm deleting the home controller I'm adding my controller name which is email I'm pasting here I'm not changing the action result index page because our action result page is an index only that's it let's send an email Google Chrome and here we got the final output of that code to subject and body and notice in this body the text area I have added the text box for columns and rows are very less so we can adjust the text area let's add the two address chalan3k at gmail.com I'm sending the same email ID the from address only in these two address you can add any valid email ID in the subject hello and this is test mail in the body sending mail with image in body channel now before sending this email to this address let's open my gmail account I just logged into my email ID I want to send email to this gmail ID let's send an email I'm clicking send button see here we got a message mail has been sent successfully charanthik at gmail.com this email ID notice here we got a new mail hello this is test mail let's open this mail See, we got an image in the body. That's it.